Hey everybody, Riker Rider here, and welcome back to Let's Play Wario Land 4. In today's episode, we're going to be taking on the toughest stage in the game, the Fiery Cavern. Just like with every stage on hard, a lot more enemies get added, and I believe there are a lot more geysers than there used to be as well. One thing that makes this stage very irritating is if you get hit by- generally if you get hit by a geyser or you fall in lava, the coins that you lose, you can pretty much kiss them goodbye. There's just no way to recover them. I missed it. There we go. Yeah, this can be a pretty irritating bonus room. Definitely one of the more irritating ones in the game. Also, be very careful for, uh, for the rock-throwing enemies, because when they uh, lift up a rock from the bottom of the screen, they will stun you. And they throw pretty quickly. This is also one of the most difficult gold crowns in the game. Oh god, that was like really close. I almost got hit there. It's not so big a deal early on, because they give you plenty of hearts. And this bonus room has the honor of being the only bonus room in the game that you can get killed in. Oh wait, no, that's, that's not true. There's one other bonus room you can get killed in. The other ones, the enemies are just so far out of reach uh, that you would really have to try to get killed. But that's the only... That's the only bonus room in the game in which you have like a reasonable chance of getting killed without actually trying to actively to get yourself killed. Now, hopefully these geysers are in sync this time. They appear to be. Yep, they were. Awesome. Which is good, because you actually have to get over here in hard and super hard, because there is a jewel piece back here. Quite a fan of the music here. It fits very well. This could be bad. Like, there might not be enough money. I mean, are we already at the end of the stage? Well, at the end of the stage. Oh, we're already at the frog switch. This is crazy. You do get four minutes, though, which is good. But most of your gold and just most of the stuff in the stage in general you're going to be getting from... Uh, from after the switch, after it turns into the ice cavern. Now I'm thinking of Ocarina of Time. Keep your eyes peeled for icicles, too. And the ice physics will be a pretty uh, uh, will be a pretty rude awakening if you have not played the Ruby Passage first. Because 
because in my first playthrough, I actually did the Sapphire Passage right after the Emerald Passage, but this is the intended order. And you can see the money piling up after the cave freeze is over. Interesting to go uh, to hack this game and explore the fireside uh, a bit more. I wonder if the fireside is even coded in places. Watch out for icicles up here because they can really troll you. That one's, that one's pretty bad as well. Not a lot to go. There is an enemy that I'm gonna have to keep, remember to keep alive. Oh! You're not going to be able to just Rochambeau around those icicles this time. You're actually going to have to duck and jump. No way I was dodging that. I had no clue. Like, I had no clue that didn't even spawn. I think I'm going to get a running start to get in there. There we go. I told you the requirements for the stage are tight. The Fiery Cavern is most definitely a low-scoring stage. But we got everything first try, and that's all I could really, really ask for. So we have a score of... It appears to be 12-4-10. And four jewel pieces in a CD and a Keyser... It is a hard stage, but it's short. Next time on Let's Play Wario Land 4, we're going to be taking on Hotel Horror, arguably the largest stage in the game. And it is the final regular stage. For now, enjoy the Fiery Cavern CD, and I will see you guys next time. Have a good one. Thank you.